Kia ora Rod. Kia ora Rod. I'm Takuranga Tairinga Mati. And I'm Richard Wolfbrand. And we are about to present to you today our presentation on cancer. Okay, so the reading that you have provided us with was on cancer, obviously, and it was entitled Physical Activity, Fitness, and Cancer. Sure. So, just a few facts for you, Rod. Cancer is the leading cause of mortality and morbidity in the U.S. Cancer is ranked number two of leading deaths caused globally. 58 million deaths occurred in the year 2005 worldwide. 30% of those deaths were cancer-related. 2.4 million people died in America in 2001. 30% of these deaths were due to cancer. That's half a million people. So, here's a brief definition about cancer. Cancer is diseases in which abnormal cells divide without control and invade nearby cells. And there are over 100 forms of different types of cancer. Okay? And cancer cells can spread to other parts of the body through the blood or in lymphatic systems. Okay, right now, Rod, we're going to do an illustration for you um, with a voiceover from myself. What is cancer? Here we go. Normal cells divide through a process called mitosis. Where they replicate their DNA and divide into two. Normal cells don't divide infinitely, though normal cells stop dividing after 50 or 60 times when it gets too crowded. Then the cells will commit apoptosis, some suicide. This whole process is called senescence. <laughs> senescence. Normal cells also are able to regulate how often they divide. Cells send messages to their cells as they replicate. They will slow down when it gets too crowded and speed up if more cells are needed. Whereas cancer cells do not. Cancer cells don't obey, obey senescence. In a way, Cancer cells are immortal. They completely ignore signals urging them to commit suicide. They allow them to keep growing. No matter how crowded it gets, cancer cells will keep dividing over and over again. And if they have enough nutrients, they will divide forever. This is how dangerous tumours are formed, and this is generally how cancer is formed in the body. Cool, thanks for that TK. So, with this in mind, cancer is pretty dangerous, isn't it? But is there a cure? And we know that there are thousands of people all over the world who are paid to look for a cure for cancer. Okay, so is there a cure? No, there is, there is no evidence to suggest that there is a cure as of yet, but there is definitely preventatives in which physical education is one of them. Okay, there is definitely a link between physical activity and cancer, but it differs with different types of cancers. Okay, so the American Cancer Society recommended that, phys that regular physical activity be undertaken to decrease the risk of developing colon and breast cancer. The International Agency for Research on Cancer recognized the importance of physical activity in decreasing colon and breast cancer and also possibly other cancers. The epidemiology studies used to obtain evidence to support physical activity and physical fitness as a preventative measure for cancer was all done through cohort and case control study designs.
Thank you, Richard. So, colon cancer. About 50 published studies have examined the association between physical activity, PA, or physical fitness, P, and the risk of developing colon cancer. <coughs> On average, studies indicate colon cancer median relative risk among active individuals is seven times that among inactive persons of 30% reduction in this. Available information suggests that some 30 to 45 minutes per day of moderate intensity of physical activity is needed to reduce risk. Lee et al. 1991. Cool. <laughs> so let's move to breast cancer. Okay. About 60 published studies have been carried out on whether physical activity is associated with lower risk of developing breast cancer in women. Across all studies, median Across all studies, median rel rel <laughs> relative risk for developing breast cancer comparing with least action women is 0.8. On average, data indicates that active women have a 20% lower breast cancer rate. Okay? And this appears that some Four to seven hours a week of moderate and vigorous intensity of physical activity is required to decrease the risk of breast cancer. Cool. Next. Okay, so lung cancer. So there's been 20 studies have been conducted, about 20. Um, on average, studies indicate those who are physically active have a 20% Lower risk of developing lung cancer compared with those who are sedentary. Sedentary. Okay. In summary, the published studies we've examined have shown the possible effect that physical activity and physical fitness can have on reducing the risk of particular types of cancer, thus encouraging people to live a physically active lifestyle. I am Richard Wolfgram. I am Sakura Natari Mati. We thank you for your time and we thank you for your leadings. Very nice. Over and out.